Hi, welcome to Sunil Maths Tutorial. In this video, we solve a problem from simultaneous differential equations by using Laplace transforms. Let us see the problem. Solve dx plus y is equals to sin t, comma, dy plus x is equals to cos t. Given that x is equals to 2 and y is equals to 0 at t is equals to 0 by using Laplace transforms. These equations are simultaneous differential equations. So to solve these equations, we use Laplace transforms. So the given equations are these, dx plus y is equals to sin t, dy plus x is equals to cos t. Here, what is dx? What is capital D? That capital D represents d by dt. That capital D represents d by dt. So remember that. Capital D represents d by dt. So dx, capital dx can be written as dx by dt and dy can be written as a dy by dt dx can be written as a dx by dt dy can be written as a dy by dt let it be equation one and equation number two now taking laplace transform on both sides of equation one we get taking laplace transform on both sides of equation one l of dx by dt plus l of y is equals to l of sin t l of dx by dt plus l of y is equals to l of sin t so there are two formulas in this expression. The first one, L of sin t, 1 by p square plus 1. Here I write the formula, observe that. L of sin t, 1 by p square plus 1. L of dx by dt, L of dx by dt, it is equals to L of x dash, which is nothing but p into L of x minus x of 0. Observe these two formulas. These are, if you know these formulas, then it is easy to solve the problem. So practice the formulas. These are important. Practice the formulas. So P into L of X minus X of zero plus L of Y is equals to one by P square plus one. So by using boundary conditions, they given that X of zero is equals to two. By using the given, in the given problem we have, X of zero is equals to two. So we substitute that. And for our convenience, for our convenience, we write L of X. For our convenience, we write L of X as X bar l of y as y bar observe that just for our convenience laplace transform x can be written as x bar and laplace transform of y can be written as y bar and we shift this minus 2 into right side so we get plus 2 let it be equation number 3, three. similarly taking laplace transform on both sides of equation 2 we get we get l of dy by dt plus L of X is equal to L of cos T. Again, here we use two formulas. L of dy by dt, L of dy by dt, L of y dash, P L of y minus y of zero. Yes, there is another formula, this one. L of cos T, Laplace transform of cos T. Laplace transform of cos T is equals to P divided by P square plus one. P divided by P square plus one. So by using these two formulas, that expression takes this form. P L of y minus y of zero, plus L of X is equals to P by P square plus one. Here, the boundary condition by given data, Y of zero is equals to zero. It does not influence us because Y of zero is equals to zero. So now P of P, again, again, L of Y can be written as Y bar, L of X can be written as X bar. So finally, we get this equation, X bar plus P Y bar is equals to P by P square plus one, equation number four. Now we solve equation three and four to get the values of X bar and Y bar. You observe the step. P into equation three minus equation four implies. P into equation three, multiply equation three with P, multiply equation three with P and subtract equation four. Here you get, here you get. P square X bar, P square X bar plus P Y bar is equals to two P plus P by P square plus one. X bar plus P Y is equals to P by P square plus one. We are subtracting one another. So minus, minus, minus. These two terms get canceled. So in the RHS, we get only two P. In the LHS, we get, again, these two terms get canceled. P Y bar minus P Y bar get canceled. P square X bar minus X bar. By making X bar common, you get P square minus one into X bar is equals to two P. What is X bar? X bar is equals to two P by P square minus one. X bar is nothing but L of X. Yes, X bar is nothing but L of X. We need X only. So, so shift this L into right side. Shift this L into right side. We get L inverse. 
L inverse of P by P square minus 1. So here it is the formula. L inverse of P by P square minus A square. L inverse of P by P square minus A square cos H A T. You get X is equals to 2 into L inverse of P by P square minus 1 takes the form 2 cos H T. Because here we substitute in this formula A is equals to 1. We substitute A is equals to 1. That's it. X is equals to 2 H T. Again, 2 cos H T. Sorry, 2 cos H T. What is cos H A T? Again, this is a formula. Cos H A T is equals to e power A T plus e power minus A T by 2. e power A T plus e power minus A T by 2. Again, put A is equals to 1. In this formula, we get e power T plus e power minus T by 2. These two terms get cancelled. 2 into 2 get cancelled. 2, 1 by 2 get cancelled. So, X stands for X of T is equals to e power T plus e power minus 2 T. In a similar manner, in a similar manner, we multiply equation 4 with P. We multiply equation 4 with P and subtracting equation 1. Observe that. We get this. Px bar plus P square Y bar is equals to P square by P square plus 1. And Px bar plus Y bar is equals to 2 plus 1 by P square plus 1. We are subtracting one another. We are subtracting. So you get minus, again minus, again minus, minus. So here you observe that Px bar minus Px bar, they get cancelled. The first two terms get cancelled because it's one term and second. First term, these two terms are same terms with opposite signs. So they get cancelled. Here, P square Y bar minus Y bar is equals to P square by P square plus 1 minus 2 minus of 1 by P square plus 1. By making Y bar common, you get this step. P square minus 1 into Y is equals to P square minus 1 divided by P square plus 1. Shift this p square minus 1 into right side. Y bar is equal to p square minus 1, p square minus 1 get cancelled. 1 by p square plus 1 minus 2 by p square minus 1. What is y bar? Y bar is equal to L of y. So, shift this Laplace operator to right side. Shift this Laplace operator to right side. Y is equal to L inverse of 1 by p square plus 1 minus 2 into L inverse of 1 by p square minus 1. Again, here are the formulas. L inverse of 1 by P square plus 1 is equals to sin T. L inverse of 1 by P square minus 1 is equals to cos H A T. By using the two formulas, you get this. Y of T is equals to sin T minus 2 cos H T. What is 2 cos H T? Cos H T already we learned that E power T minus E power 2 by 2, 2 to get cancelled, we get this one. <coughs> Therefore, the solution of given simultaneous equations is x of t is equals to e power t plus e power minus t and y of t is equals to sin t minus e power t plus e power minus t. Observe that this is very, very important question. It is previous year question. So learn this one. And the next problem, you did homework, do homework, uh, see the question. Solve simultaneous differential equations d minus 2x plus 3y is equals to 0, 2x plus d minus 1 into y is equals to 0, subject to the conditions x of 0 is equals to 8 and y of 0 is equals to 3 by using Laplace transforms. Solve the simultaneous differential equations. Let us see some solution, some part of the solution. D given these are the given differential equations d minus 2 into x plus 3y is equals to 0 and dx plus d minus 1 into y is equals to 0. Remember that here capital D stands for d by dt. Capital D stands for d by dt. So you get dx by dt minus 2x plus 3y is equals to 0. I mean this first equation like this and the second equation can be written like this 2x plus dy by dt minus y is equals to 0. And these two are the given boundary conditions. X of 0 is equal to 8. Y of 0 is equal to 3. Now taking Laplace transform on both sides. Taking Laplace transform on both sides. L of dx by dt minus 2 into L of x plus 3 L of y is equal to 0. 2 into L of x plus L of dy by dt minus L of y is equal to 0. Now you continue this problem. What is L of dx by dt? What is L of dx by dt? P into L of x minus 2 into L of x. I'm sorry, this is the formula. L of dx by dt. P into L of x minus x of 0. That is the formula. L of dy by dt formula. P into L of y minus y of 0. 
by using these two formulas and substitute and substitute boundary conditions here x of 0 is equals to 8 y of 0 is equals to 3 and simplify the equations solve these two equations so do homework wish you all the best keep learning